So a very good evening to all. And of course, thanks for being here on today's uh, Teacher's Day and that to us Sunday. So thank you to all uh, being present here. Uh, today we will be having a very uh, uh, great session wherein we will be having three of the presentations from three of the CSR proposals. Two of the proposals are into the education uh, ed tech or in and around the education development. And one of the uh, CSR proposal is uh, regarding the mental well-being and mental hygiene. So that's how uh, these three proposals will be there. Two proposals will be presented by other uh, those who will be there who are actually present in the, our today's session. And one of the presentation that is from architect, they are not able to join in today, but uh, I will be presenting that particular uh, presentation on behalf of them. And uh, to evaluate all these three presentations and three CSR proposals, we have our uh, guest also who is our admin and uh, of course, um, professionals working towards uh, CSR development and CSR campaigns. Let me first introduce, uh, she is none other than uh, Ms. Sanchita. This is Sanchita, of course. Uh, she is a specialist in compliance regulatory and also a CSR matters. She is working with Baker Hedges, that is the MNC company in uh, Gurgaon. And of course, she herself is working towards the social development projects. Also working towards the funding of some of the CSR corporate uh, uh, initiatives, and that is why she is here with us. And of course, others eminent uh, speakers are also there with us. Those who are actually into the social development sector, like Rita Madam, Sanmugam Ji, and of course um, uh, Rama Rodi too. Subramanian so too is uh, uh, sir is too in the same leg. But more or less, what I am looking for is once the presentation will go in. Let first Sanchita to evaluate, then um, others can actually very well inform or very well can come in and pitch what exactly needs to be more into that. So over to uh, Sanchita ji and over to our uh, first of the presentation. The first presentation from will be from Psychology Connect uh, or Vinita ji and Sriya will be actually presenting the particular presentation. The second presentation from Sital Thapa, she is yet to join and uh, she will be present. And third presentation later on having present uh, on behalf of Arctic. So that is how our presentations will go on. And there is no such hard and fast uh, milestones or uh, uh, on which we are grading. Of course, what we are doing here is the practice is how do people have created that particular CSR proposals? The deliberation is being uh, given to you how to prepare a CSR proposal and how Niece, you have presented that particular CSR proposal that our evaluator will evaluate it. And what all uh, you can add on to that particular proposal that we will actually uh, pitch in to you people. So over to uh, the first presentation that is from Sriya Jain and uh, Burita. Over to you and Sanjita. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh... Sadeep ji for having me here. I'm really glad. And to all the dignitaries and the participants today, I'm really looking forward to a great session. Uh, and I hope my evaluation justifies what you exactly are looking for. Thank you so much. Hello. 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 Has the meeting so started? Like yeah, started. Okay, thank you. I request here to Sital Madam to start their, her presentation because by the time uh, Sriya and Vinita uh, will start after Sital Ji. So I request Sital Ji to actually present her. Okay, I go in the first place. Yeah, yeah. No issues. I'll share my screen. Mm. Yes, please. Since it's getting recorded, that's me. Hello, good evening, everybody. Uh, I'm Sheetal. 
I'll be uh, representing my um, previous company, which was uh, a very good social enterprise called Bhutguru. I have worked over there for around uh, uh, like from the tenure 2012 up till uh, 2019. And uh, it was a very good experience. So I'm just going to present one of the initiatives that we had launched. And we are still looking forward to more partners who can take this uh, initiative and its benefits ahead. So uh, just sharing my screen, my camera will automatically switch off. Um, one second. I'll stop my video actually, that's better. Mm. Where is the option for sharing? Yeah, I guess share. Um, one second. I thought there is an option which was ready for sharing this whole screen. You'll have to be a host to share the screen. Is it? Yeah. Uh, so, Pradeep ji, can you grant Sheetal co-host? Or else, sir, can you uh, uh, share my screen and I talk about it? Is it a good idea? Sheetal, you can present your screen as well as switch on your video at the same time. Uh, I'm doing it from a phone. So there is a challenge on that, I feel. Okay, all right. Then maybe I'm, I'm going to, to share a screen. Uh, start now. You can. You can, Jitadi. You can very well uh, share because you are co-host also. Okay. Uh, is my screen visible, sir? Of course not. Or shall I do for you? Uh, you can, but uh, uh, can we wait for some few seconds in case it yeah, yeah, of course, gets of course. populated yeah. once? Is it visible now, sir? No, of course not. Not yet. Not yet. Then I suggest or I request you to please share it for me. Allow other apps. I don't know this. I thought I've done the sharing of the screen before, but looks like in Zoom I have not. In Google Meet I have. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, so, if you can share my screen, I'll keep my camera on, I'll try to, and I'll try to talk about it. So, uh, just giving a little background on uh, the ideas, like several years of uh, uh, work that we did at various schools. We are present in a host of many, many, many schools in India and uh, uh, through our content, through our apps, because we have a reach on all like levels. Like we have been working uh, with the schools through our uh, Bodh Guru Enjoy Learning Solution. We have been there through our apps into the individual phones that the students use or the, or the teachers use. We have also been there through the, our uh, uh, various uh, offline content material like the Bodh Guru disc, the, the, the DVD disc, the uh, disc which has got a lot of, a whole lot of uh, videos that can be uh, used to teach, learn in the school or at home. We have been there through our, like, you know, the NCRT video app, which has got an entire sequence of more than 2000 uh, uh, videos, which the uh, students can access in a very systematic way. But this particular project that I'm going to talk about is about an enjoy reading kit, which is a K3 kind of a, a, a offering that we had made which uses uh, the potential of technology, but in a very, very robust way, very, very handy way in which the children actually go through some audio enabled books where in they press certain symbols, like, you know, certain speaker symbols and the book talks. And the book not just talks to tell because generally similar kind of toys are available, the educational toys as we call them. But this is a little different because this has actually got several lessons embedded and coded in a box which comes along with this uh, book set of 10 books like you know, there are around 10 books five of english and five of hindi or five of english and five of telugu so uh, that is the set that I'm, that i'm talking about uh, sir if the uh, screen i'm not able to see it just correct wait a while wait a while. if i'm wrong i'm still uh, working is, on it yes just keep on 
Yes, sir. I will just keep on uh, like describing the whole effort. So basically, uh, after working on uh, the school for several years, more than five years, six years, that we worked with some several of thousand schools, Pan India, specifically in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, that was today, uh, uh, before when I worked, it was Telangana. Uh, it was Andhra Pradesh <laughs> till 2014. So uh, when we worked over there, there was a lot of uh, feedback that we got. And also the ASAL report, which Pratham publishes every year, almost every year, which describes the state of education in the government schools in the lower end of the pyramid, how it is. Children are not able to read. They're not able to do their basic maths. And we felt there was a problem lying somewhere that building blocks were not that uh, well laid. That means if the children can read, then they can read and learn anything else. If they get stopped or if they get blocked at that point of time, then they have got hardly any kind of a chance or foundation that they can build on later on. And that's where we kind of falter. Then we go into the rote learning, we mug up things, we only learn for exams. So that basic foundation of the language needs to be very firm. We also got a lot of feedback from the uh, existing schools, which are the uh, affordable private schools. There's the government schools that we're catering to, we were also catering to the affordable private schools because a lot of the uh, parents who whose children go to the government schools, the moment they have little money in their hand, they try to pay the fees and they get them into the private school because somehow there's an image that's built up keep government schools are not So there's no not, not much of education that goes on there. So we catered to both of these segments. So there we got a feedback that Telugu was something that is supposed to be like, you know, mother tongue, it is there in the uh, uh, states, children know it but they are somewhere lagging behind in terms of learning the language. Any language has to be learned with three ways. You have to see it, you have to read it, you have to hear it, and then you can actually say it. So this is what we put together with the technology. And we had an option of doing it over tablets, but tablet is very fragile medium. We feel like, you know, tablet or any of these devices, and they are very addictive in nature. So we wanted to bring the children back to books, reading through the books, learning through the books, but have an very smart technology laid in that will actually be uh, responsive and engaging at the same time. So what we did was that we took them through a step-by-step -step kind of a learning through these books, which were audio enabled through a little set of box. The moment the presentation comes on, you'll be able to see it. So what we had done is that we have made this particular uh, set of a box and some books that we put together and the children as young as you can actually see the children can handle this equipment by themselves today's children they actually learn technology from mom's womb and come so what you're seeing right now on your screen is the enjoy reading kit which i was talking about it's like a small a4 size very light in weight uh, kind of a little bus shape device we have made it like a bus because it's like a very playful it takes you places so this is like taking you into the learning world so here we have got this enjoy reading kit that you're seeing on the uh, screen and this child you can very well see is a very young child in the age group of k3 that's kindergarten to the class and they are able to easily operate it themselves there's a small booklet you can see that it's got like that that's lying on the uh, uh, palm, like on the lap, wherein the child is holding the box, which is our device, enjoy reading kit. So the kit has got two of the legs, which is the yellow box and the box that come along. So the idea that we have come up with, or the need that we try to cater to, so this for the second slide, sir. The need that we are trying to cater here is that the learning to read early is very critical. Critical is highlighted in red so that the students can read to learn other subjects on them. Otherwise, they'll always be dependent. They will need some kind of crutches, right? So, and we also know that this requires a lot of practice. So that's where we are getting this uh, presentation or the idea from. That's the need, getting to read. That was the need. So the next slide, please. So we have got this device which helps you to read, understand, listen, and also practice. Can we go to the next slide, please, sir? So what we see over here is our suggested solution. You see K3 level, which is kindergarten to level three, the class three level of enjoy reading it. That comes as, uh, so we can be there in the second, third slide, sir. Thank you. 
I can admit somebody who is coming. Huh. So uh, what it has got is got a kind of a yellow reading bus. Technical details, it's yellow in color. It's got a weight of hardly one and a half kg, but it's very much easily carryable, portable. It's got the dimension of like A4 size book. It's 100% made in India. It's a patented product because certain technology has got into it. So it's a patented product. It's very much our offering. And we have got the uh, uh, books that are there in preschool series, English series, Hindi, Telugu, and Urdu series. Presently, we are having a wholesome stock of Telugu series books and the kit ready with us. Any person who would like to take this ahead, most, more than welcome to come back to us. Let's go to the next slide, uh, please, sir. So this is the kind of kit that it would look like. So that's a, that's a solution for helping the children to learn to read. So a few of the uh, key features, the next slide, please, sir, are that it's a child safe and child friendly. When I say child safe, it's very much within India. It's designed from a very safe plastic. The color is bright and it's got a very finished kind of a smooth approach that it's got like, you know, and the components are very robust. Unless you really break it off, it will still survive. It's child-friendly approach. The mode of use is very easy. You place the book, you, you place the book on the kit and there is a particular apple that is made on the book. So the child just needs to recognize that apple in the entire book and just press it. The moment you press the apple, the book, that box will know, uh, the kit will know that this is the book which I have placed and I have to read from this book. And there's a start button in the beginning where you need to click and it starts off. So it is a battery operated kind of a toy which runs on three AA batteries. Very good in terms of the power uh, uh, use that it's using because it can run actually for 25 hours in a standard mode. I'm not talking about it being used with a loudspeaker and stuff because they need more of the power. These books have been actually designed by uh, content uh, managers who are the pedagogy experts who have done a lot of research. We have put in all our experience into it and they have got it very, very systematically placed. When I say systematically placed, I actually mean that it follows a certain step-by-step -step approach in which you have got the first step being the uh, set of uh, uh, alphabets that you're learning in the phonics way, phonics seem to be one of the best way of uh, learning in terms of uh, uh, like, you know, you go step, step by step, you should not be having it as A, it should be like a A, uh, and then you should not be having it as a B, it should be a B. So we are talking in those terms, like, you know, so it's got the uh, various things that are put step by step. Okay, so when I say more Mode of use it actually is very easy to lay book on the kit and you can start by just pressing a few things which has got a very standard SOPs that anyone can learn very easily. To learn how to uh, use this, we have got ample number of YouTube videos which can be uh, used and which can be seen through to know how things work. Coming to the next part, uh, the alphabets, letter sounds and word formations are the three steps that we are looking at, after which the strengthening of reading and pronunciation skills is done through a host of lot of uh, uh, things which are there, which includes the moral stories. Uh, 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 Pradeep sir is actually trying to put across the presentation. I'm reading it from my own uh, uh, laptop here. So uh, just bear with me. We are just trying to put things together. So we have got the strength lying in the various components that we have put together. We have got stories, we've got single long rhymes, we've got colorful pictures, numerous audio enabled activities. When I say activities, we have got two, three kind of activities wherein you try to join them. What is the like kind of sequence that, that is being followed in the regional language or the mother tongue too. We have having uh, like Telugu ready, uh, like you know, the, uh, are there, which are there with the kids. Hindi can be made ready and Urdu also we had got a few things done till a certain level. Coming to the next part, you just need to place the book on the kit and touch the mark visual. There are small, small uh, uh, speaker kind of visuals made. Items which were touched on a particular page, that page speaks. And once you're turning the pages, there is a particular mark on the 
left side top or the right side top which knows or which tells the kit that okay now the page is being turned i have to refer to the content that's on the next page so all in all we have some 400 of these activities put together which complete the kit with a wholesome hours and hours of learning It's just not one side kind of like you know one page that you read and then you go ahead you also have got a quiz a very smart quiz wherein it asks questions and each time the question is different for the child even if it's on the same page like it will try to ask questions kind of mat anything that sounds like at like you know mat hat so bat so these things the child has to press and find on the visual so the picture remains the same but each time there is an ai which is asking the particular question so there you have got a lot of thinking and programming that's gone into the kit next we uh, come to the structure of the content as i told you we are going step by step we have got alphabets we have got simple words in the regional languages we follow barakadi kind of a thing in hindi or in telugu it's a similar kind of thing like ka plus a ki mata it's ka so uh, that kind of simple word formations are done wherein you have to join it with the matras or without the matras so there's a consonant vowel combination in telugu it's called as guni gin talu and there are consonant vowel combinations which are called as guninta padalu i am not that good or ex expert with telugu but i'm just trying to go through the content as i'm going through the ppt myself too uh, next we come to the kind of engaging contents that we have got we have got uh, places wherein you need to match or find the correct answers as a kind of quiz we have got uh, questions which help you to join the matra word along with the final composed word we have got questions wherein you have to find similar sounding or different word of that particular word that's being asked so there are lot of activities which are there after every lesson and in a book you will have more than two more than three of these lessons which are composed together just in a very similar fashion that's why we call it that it's we can see that it's actually having a similar flow that is there in the academic curriculum too that's why it can be very seamlessly engaged or embedded into any kind of schools we have followed the pattern which are there existing in andhra pradesh and telugu or in rest of the countries too output possibilities i'm just taking you whenever you have got technology coming in a component which can help to standardize you have got something basically wherever i had also piloted i myself did the pilot in himachal pradesh and in uttarakhand in up north i also got this thing showcased and spoken about in haryana punjab and other uh, places like up also so there one of the best thing that it was praised for was standardization everywhere जैसे घाट घाट में भाषा बदलती है लाइक कोस कोस में बदले पानी और बदले वाणी राइट सो यू हैव गॉट सेम थिंग दैट हैपन्स टू द लैंग्वेज इवन इफ इट इज हिंदी इवन इफ इट इज इंग्लिश सो देर इज अ काइंड ऑफ बायस दैट कम्स इन इन टर्म्स ऑफ द वे थिंग्स आर प्रोनाउंस सो देर इज अ स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन वेर इन द चिल्ड्रन कैन एक्चुअली हियर समथिंग दैट स्टैंडर्ड एंड दैट कैन बी लर्न राधर देन हैविंग अ बायस लाइक वेन आई वेन टू द हिल्स दे वॉर सेंग a uh, for arm how can arm and a be together so there some of the learning of the teacher also needs to be like you know uh, revised or rejuvenated so there you have got the standardization which helps then also since it was something which was a curiosity building in the children so there was a fun way build, uh, uh, building of the learning together so there was a fun field these 400 games were actively very engaging for the children that was found out that's a good possibility of using it plus the reading and pronunciation skills are improving in the early grade this was found out we have got case studies slides that do project this out then there was a significant improvement in terms of reading pronunciation skills and structured approach that has been followed so there was a structure that we followed in our books that gelled with the kind of curriculum needs that was there existing in the schools that we were catering to and we were looking at letter identification word formation with without mantra and short sentences reading so at each stage there was 
also the quiz that went along that's where there within the books so that's what we're talking about it's available in english and mother tongue languages right now of course there's a lot of uh, uh, like you know thrust on learning on through the mother tongue this is something may i remind which we had already conceptualized and worked on as a way to learn way back 3 years back so this is something that we had already been working on so telugu for andhra pradesh and telangana and hindi for madhya pradesh and hindi speaking states is what we are looking at it's very portable and it's user friendly even that small child which you saw which you saw in the first page is he or she is able to easily use it teachers are well trained they are grown ups they can easily use uh this uh, one more thing that we had looked out at as a, a possibility because i also have gone to a lot of anganwadis myself a lot of anganwadis the teachers are busy doing the admin work and it is the helper or the sahayika who actually ends up teaching the children so imagine in such a situation wherein you are having a ready to use kit which can very well easily be managed by a grown up with very less to minimal supervision and the children can use it in her direction or by themselves to one kit is easily usable with four to five children so it's a very much economical resourceful resource that we have an offer it needs very least amount of power and it can run on rechargeable cells so if you're looking at somebody just pooling in resources having somebody to fund those chargeable cells you don't even need to go back and keep on purchasing the cells three rechargeable cells is all you need for 25 hours of learning so that's what we are looking at coming at the impact we easily can look at having each device at least being used by 5 to 10 i'm giving a very conservative less figure because one school having x number of children can easily survive on two or three such devices we don't need to have one device per child per learner because it's easily can be used by multiple learners you can uh, this is how actually uh, the schools that it went we have used this in more than 500 plus schools i can easily vouch for 300 anganwadis and 300 pre uh, preschool uh, uh, primary school that we have looked at this has been used i have piloted the pilot stage and it has been found useful for an entire class so the impact is definitely more than 10x but conservatively in my slide just to represent a very fair idea i put it five times to 10 times impact it can be used in the minimal infrastructure it does not need power something like a computer a laptop or tablet running out of uh, of a uh, 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 battery life may need power source here you don't need to have a power source it just runs on simple battery and least stuff even somebody who can just switch it on and leave it to the children to be used under supervision can be good and used there have been seen a better number of attendance by the children because they know they can play and learn something at school there is a fun learn based technology that we are talking about intervention that engages students and progressive messages sent to the parents that yes our children are learning in some new way which is as good if not better than the private schools that they are, they are going to coming back again this was robustly tested for 4 to 5 months on ground in the places close by to telangana uh, in in telangana in hyderabad close by places so there were some 300 government primary schools uh, that have uh, used this with the various ngo part plus and facilitated partners and these schools have recorded huge improvement in reading and pronunciation skills of letters words with the without mantras matras in four months of time period so i have got slides that uh, share the details one more very interesting thing that i would like to share in this is the way the resource has been utilized because teachers are capable of using 10x of each resource so something that was supposed to be just to use in a small was actually used very well. one devices to the entire class what visual that i have i'm just displaying it for you so it just goes along with that uh there's a, a visual wherein the entire class is up at least 10 of them are up dancing to the rhyme which is going on on the uh, device so one device is actually catering to like a kind of a very good physical activity too but in like you know uh, and in the rhyme section we had two way we said sing along rhyme that means there are two pages facing pages one page will sing out the rhymes with the words 
and the other side will only tell the uh, share the music so the children can listen to this once and they can try to recite themselves together plus they can actually dance to the tune that's what this visual has got they actually place the box on the on the uh, ground on the uh, on the floor and the children were just following the music or following the words and doing actions so it was a very very best optimized taking this into account what our team did was that we further improvised and we actually added because there were a few of the schools which said bahut acha hai but awaaz kam hai hum kya kar sakte hain what can we do about it so what we did was that we added actually a jack into it so that the sound can be amplified so we improvised our own thing based on the pilot feedback that we received so with the jack of course the battery life would be little less but amplification of sound is possible and much more wider audience can actually hear through whatever is being read out is being called out is being sung on the particular enjoy reading kit next we go through very quick reports on how they have been improved meant in performances that have been measured in terms of the pass percentage in terms of the average percentage score and the telugu average score we're looking at telugu language so we have uh, uh, based on that the pass percentage actually jumped by 56% i'm sure we all know the value of how these numbers do matter 56% is a huge jump and average percentage jump by 27.5 anything beyond 10 20% is a huge gain within 4 to 5 months of usage using it for a longer time would of course yield better results as we will see in the future further slides uh what we also see in terms of uh, uh, resource utilization it was the more it was utilized the better the results that is what the current slide number 14 and number 15 relates to overall 57 to 71% improvement was seen in the average percentage that the children got in terms of english and telugu reading english individually on its own was 21.9% raised that is 22 22% roughly and telugu was raised by 24.65 percentage this was just with the help little help of the staff who was little to no training given and there's so much of the learning that the children are getting themselves into going to the next slide we speak about also the consistency leads to mastery we have got schools which have recorded 100% improvement languages are moving up within months from like you know to a 100% mark they know the the things that they are learning fully because they know they have something that can repeat it sometimes as grown ups as teachers we kind of get tired how many times should i repeat but here you have actually got a device which helps you to repeat on and on how many ever times you wish to it to repeat anybody uh, who wishes to uh, take these video uh, take these uh, devices on and use we have got a huge set of 10 to 15 videos very elaborate very detailed on how to be used the next slide that we have slide number 16 has actually got our co-founder miss anubha jain displaying it detailing it on the ways different ways and scenarios how it can be used some of of course those i have tried to sum up in this presentation itself just a little just about our team both guru it is currently having content running in 7 7000 plus government schools which includes schools in tangana uh madhya pradesh arunachal pradesh in middle uh, or can about in just with you which has got more than 170 views and it's got uh Uh, six hundred ninety-five thousand. We're talking about six lakhs plus, uh, almost seven lakhs subscribers, which are registered with us, who keep on visiting us again and again. One point two million downloads is our uh, ballpark figure for the educational apps which we have put across in the various app stores. One million children books have been read by children. We do have apps which help you to make books also. That's another day story. Um, NCRT. Uh, cbsc video app ncert app is one video which uh, one app which has got almost 
all of the lessons, I will say almost all because we are a social enterprise. If we, if we give everything for free, then we don't have anything to sell. So we have got many of our videos which are there into this particular app, which comes on serial wise in Hindi and in English. It's got a download of more and last to be so we have got uh, uh, we have been awarded with the innovation challenge by Facebook in the students category in 2015 and uh, social media summit has awarded us as the best uh, team which has worked on in the education category so that's a little just about uh, both guru and uh, the last but not the least is a thank is a thanking uh, slide. Thank you, and it's like really looking forward to enlightening millions of young minds together. So, looking forward to any kind of questions that you may have. Uh, we can run through the slides uh, as and when they are ready. So, that's my little bit of presentation for you. Thank you so much, Pradeep sir. I don't know if I've exceeded my ten minutes or more. I think so. It's thanks, been a more thanks. time. So thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Over to us, Sanjita Ji, for your evolution, sir. Have a Thank you. Uh, Pradeep Ji, so before I start my evaluation, I would request if the audience have any questions from Sheetal, they can ask. Thank you, Ramaro, sir. And thank you, Ms. Sanjita. Yeah. No, if really someone is having forward. some queries, if someone is having some queries in regard to the presentation. Nothing. Sir. Yes, please. Excellent, excellent presentation. Exam superb, you know, it's like innovation. Yeah, I, I remember years ago when I was involved in some Saksharata scheme, there we really had a problem on how to teach the language. And Saksharata scheme ka ekim akshatha, akhir me signature karna chahiye, but matlab pada likha admi. So, neto, this is a wonderful project, you know, 2015 ne thoda aar pich pada me hota to probably apne apne bhaasha ko aage leja sakte te. Bilkul sir. Very, very, very good, madam. Really, uh, uh, I'm going to download this recording and uh, re uh, listen to the whole scheme once more. Then, probably, since you already told it is social enterprising, uh, we'll see how best uh, uh, what you call marketing can be done for your product. And so that many users are there and it can be refined to a higher level also. And we call it advanced stages of learning, you know, language. It will be very good, especially in the language labs. You know, this will be very useful. Now, for example, uh, officials who are transferred from one state to another, they really have a great problem in learning, to be very frank. Uh, it is not merely left to the school students. You know, migrant population have to learn a language because they are going to stay very long in a state. So, reading, writing would be very good for them and uh, vocabulary. I mean, uh, speaking definitely will help. And of course, uh, the human caliber is there. You know, learning three, four languages should not be a problem uh, for any Indian for that matter. The uh, let alone the accent, but the skill to learn is always there. So very excellent, madam. Uh, very very thrilled to see the uh, effort that has gone behind it and uh, the success rate, the percentages you were talking about. My God, baffled around. You know, such type of uh, uh, excellent turnover of the whole project never happens actually. Efficiency factor we call it. <laughs> Thank you so really, much, madam. Add up, add up to you. Very thrilled and. I will definitely, I'm telling you, uh, we'll see how this product can uh, push a larger level. Probably a uh, lot of innovation also can be done to skill up the language learning also. Uh, probably so, sir, we are I, actually, I, I, yes, so we're having a lot of these uh, devices with us, uh, some thousand plus of them, which are not used since two years thanks to the lockdown. And as I had told in one of my uh, earlier sessions, I really say sorry, but I really start questioning why people like you know they take a very delayed decision so a uh, lot of the things were packed kept but were never dispatched so we have actually right now sir uh, in our uh, uh, team we have got it as a product which is ready to be used whoever can take it ahead can purchase it and use it ahead and uh, uh, it's just that like you know we need people who can take the things ahead and the more the the better like because that's somewhere we it got stuck somewhere like like you know you, we didn't have people like you in short uh, no, 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 i'll tell you you know as you are as you are telling me i'm i'm uh, thinking of a uh, you know better uh, spectrum of uh, spread of this information and this product also 
we should have such sessions probably i will recommend your name to language teachers in colleges uh, where they have ma english and respective so once they understand your concept probably uh, they, they are the people you know who actually should spread the language uh, interest uh, for example in english you know we we, 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 we always know sashi tarur mr sashi tarur is very good in english usi tarah har bhasha ka ek khubi rehta hai so i would say ma english wherever this english language is taught the your your methodology should be projected that uh, as a social enterprising project so they will realize so they to have uh, what you call a sort of employment also to be very frank you know doesn't stop there you know language is always in you know, a mother tongue whatever you say is always thrilling to uh, extend the, the learning you know probably uh, some hidden treasures will come out of the language i remember in canada there is known as modi lipi and all you know the you know the language becomes more interesting when you go back and after all you know we still love to go back to basic grammar which we have almost forgotten now <laughs> uh, so that is a very good product madam great great presentation madam congratulations and uh, acts of for all our efforts yeah i think you should go I for it a... also i have just presented the end product but there's an entire team which has worked on it the content programmers it's just I, I that really now what remains is those uh, kids that need to reach wherever they can make the most impact they can actually be used very well in a kind of a mobile library like you know which can go from place to place they can have five of these kids placed wherever they go in the slums or like you said there are these people the population which moves from one place to the other especially yeah, now yeah. schools are opening the education that link has got broken at least in that lower strata who don't have a smartphone at home so they need to have some access pehle hi kamar tooti hui thi ab kamar bahut kuch toot gaya hai so we need to have that build up so there this could be really useful they could also be having some community places like panchayat ghar or something which can have yeah. like two three of these can be used if you have got ladies who can keep this at home and be like small tuition teachers they may or may not take money if they are funded by ngos or by the csrs and they can yes, spread yes. that news they they can use it for yes, yeah yeah this is, this is a good you know what you call uh, uh, from bottom of the pyramid we go you know that is better yes. panchayat se jata hai and uh, yes. wahan dispensary sab kuch raha this is very good thing madam what you said is absolutely right i mean uh, i i will make my little effort you know a small contribution to all that you have done let us see how best we can and uh, of course I, i will have access of your number from pradeep sir yes, and we uh, will will definitely have a strategy madam definitely sure, thank you thank you for presentation thank you madam. so much thank you so much again that's very like i will convey my <laughs> all the yes, best wishes to the I whole have. team to the whole team yes, so. you know, back of back of innovators language innovators learning yes, innovators <laughs> Thank you again. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. And thank you to all those who have appreciated. I can see a lot of messages. Thank you so much again. All right. Yeah, Satyajit, please. Sure. Thank you so much. Uh, so, uh, thank you, Sheetal, for presenting an excellent product that you have introduced to the market, uh, which is enjoy reading kit for the kids, and I'm sure it's going to create an innovation in the market. so uh, firstly uh, please uh, note that i am not the one evaluating your product i am evaluating the presentation and the pitch that you presented and uh, I, i would like to differ i will be critical on your presentation uh, not just the good points i'll cover the your scope of improvement as well when you are presenting and yes. probably uh, uh, one should understand that uh, while you are making a presentation to your investors you need to make sure that certain items and things should be present in your presentation to make it a comprehensive one okay so well let's get started so the good points that i thought on your presentation was number one a problem statement that you started with you identified what your problem statement were the the, the language problem that the kids face you did a baseline survey on how uh, the teachers the teachers the students in the school were facing the problems and of course then you came up with the product that would address all those problem statements so congratulations on that part and you made it up to the market standards that is you introduced an app a product which is user friendly and as well as which can be upgraded time and again as you said that you uh, once you took the feedback of your uh, school teachers 
and you inserted a jack into it. So that's very good about the product. So I think uh, the product is uh, likewise a good in the marketplace. Uh, something that I thought was lacking in your presentation was number one, uh, the target audience. Your target audience is the students are secondary, your teachers are primary. The product will go to your teachers first, then it will come to the students. So your presentation should be dedicated for the teachers on how they can use the uh, that product uh, to make the students understand what's given in that product. Okay? So this, uh, from a student perspective also, you can cover it. How is it good for the student as well as for the teacher? I thought there was no point that would convey uh, that teachers could use it, how it makes their life easier in teaching the students. Okay. Uh, another point was um, uh, you took a lot of time in explaining the product. The description of the product was quite vivid, which I think could have been cut down by you giving a demonstration of the product, live demonstration, or maybe a recorded video that you might have uh, that, you know, video and audio visuals could have connected the audience more. So before you make a presentation to anyone out there of your product, make sure that you have a live video. Uh, if because the mark, if the product has already been introduced in the market, uh, it's always good to make a presentation or a video of that sort. Second was the investment and the cost of product. See, at the end of the day, everything lies in money. Uh, uh, I think you never talked about how much that the product cost, what the investment would be for one to invest in the project. Okay, so do cover it and make sure that you, uh, you know, like if. If you foresee the vision of the product, like for example, right now you have introduced it for the primary kids. Maybe down the line, if your product does well, you can introduce such things for uh, middle school students as well. So there has to be a vision for everything if you are into the business. Uh, thirdly, uh, what's unique in your product? How is it different from other products in the market? A competition analysis was not there in your presentation. Why would one invest in your project? Uh, I hope you understand me. So a study of the market and admitting that there are there these might be the shortcomings, these might be unique in our products, which is not available in the uh, in other products, what we are offering. So every time you're making a presentation of your project uh, product, make sure that you are covering the unique selling points of your products. Uh, so, and... Uh, and also, I thought while making a presentation, please make sure that you have a structure in your pitch. I thought it was a little bit haywire. You started well, you came down to the description until the description of the project, you again gone back to uh, why the product is needed. So maybe down the line, when you describe the product, it could have come down to uh, how your product is doing well in the market. The achievements that you spoke could have been last and I thought it, it was the last as well. So have a defined structure to your project. So if you, if you would like, I can give you how the uh, presentation should be structured. Okay. Uh, and last but not the least, preparedness is a must. I thought, uh, I thought you, uh, you made a very good presentation, which I could not see, and that's very unfortunate. So please make sure that going forward, you are prepared. Your audio video is fine, but uh, presentation should have been visible to all of us so that we could have connected more. Uh, Overall, uh, I think amazing presentation. A little bit of engagement can also be there. I thought you were just running like a train speaking on maybe some engaging points to the audience could have been added a little more, could have added more flavor to your presentation. Uh, that's all from my side. And thank you so much. I hope it was helpful. Uh, uh, chance to get back to you on these questions or that's for my record and I get back for my future presentations. Yeah, okay. that you can keep it for your future presentations. In case you need help, you can always be free to approach. Sure, we'll do that. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Feedback matters and it's very important. <laughs> I do value that. Thank you, Ms. Sanchita. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, Sitaji, I would like to know one thing uh, regarding the product. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, which languages uh, you can address by this particular product? How many languages or which languages we can actually so current, Currently, what we are having as a stock is available for English Telugu, 
the kids which will be having four of the english books and like four or five of the telugu books which will go into the kit they will be reading out aloud through the uh, the kit uh, we do have a combination of english and hindi that can be also addressed along with that we do have some of the ground work which is done for urdu but that i wouldn't vouch much for right now but english telugu english hindi is what we have ready right now sir for nursery to class 3 level sir it is well in sync with the uh, school uh, syllabus which is there uh, in the uh, schools in the government schools so we are looking at the government schools as our main target audience because it's good to make a difference where there is nothing which is there rather than go back to those who have got choices so that's where we want to work on sir bottom okay. of the and, and one more question of course uh, yes sir you you presented that it you are targeting from uh, that is uh, pre primary to uh, standard of third year yes why only at <laughs> third year why not above and over and above third year of student sir the reason being that the way we have handled the kind of content that we have made is something that is uh, applicable and useful for building the block once the children know their alphabets know their words know how the sentences go then they can build up on many things on themselves we do have our other range of product which is into science and maths learning which is there right from class 1 till class 10th so that we anyways have in parallel which was built much before this also so that is there but to reach that level that basic one step which was missing in terms of the language that is what we have tried to work that's why we have gone from the down from the nursery from the kg level till the class 3 once the child is led up to that particular level wherein they can uh, uh, do things on their own independently then they can read either a, either a evs book or whichever book so from there on we do have things which will help them but that building block was required that's why sir that is the main reason that i would put forward okay did you went through uh, the new education policy the complete new education policy how it is uh, to be very honest sir some part of it is still untouched by me so if you want to bring forward some of your few things that do, can do be do you know do you, do you know your solution is actually uh, aligned or inclined towards new education policy yes sir in terms of technology usage in terms of being independent in terms of usage of the uh, mother uh, tongue that we are talking about wherein they need to be yes these things we have already factored in and this was not in 2020 that we are talking about this is already visualized in fact when our team started working in 2011 the vision of the team was ki kya bachcha 5 rupaye mein pura mahina seekh sakta hai which is possible today through the apps through the kind of uh, data packs that are available but we had visualized it that point of time itself so our founders did have that vision to work on and they worked on but somewhere things got fizzled out <laughs> why why i bring it here actually is new education policy is targeting towards uh, local language curriculum and local language designing uh, yes. for the curriculum and for the books and yes, your solutions can be very much helpful for that uh thank you my uh, i do appreciate and congratulate you for your solutions and uh, we all will be actually trying uh, to help you out uh, in regard of csr pitching or in regard of of course so marketing towards this solution towards all but i must uh, say here try to actually canvas uh, or try to pitch the particular solution towards anganwadi too because now uh, with the new education policy um uh, this particular segment that is from pre primary up to a level of third more or less they are being actually uh, catered by our anganwadi centers only so do do try yes, to sir. use this to anganwadi centers too sir Now, we have tried is... to so we have tried to pitch it sir uh, the last when i met was like the uh, uh, csr team of nandghar vedanta foundation okay vedanta. i have tried to canvas this with also with a uh, atel uh, uh, team which has got because we some that data part some that technology part would 
gel in. So your point is well taken, sir. I will surely try to put it in those lines or in that direction. Thank you so okay. much. I request if someone is having any other queries or any other suggestions for Sita Ji, please to let us uh, unmute yourself and come in. Thread. We can end up her presentation by then and then we will move on to the next presentation. Yes. If someone is having, like uh, uh, Mr. Seva is there, he can actually come in and out. This can actually give some of the solutions of the presentation or the solution that is uh, what Sitaldi has actually conveyed to us. If they have some idea on that. So I think, okay. Now I request uh, Sri and Virita, are you, are your presentations are ready with you? Yes, sir. We are here. Okay. So, okay. And, yeah. um, a very, yeah, a very so good, I request uh, Sriya to present yourself. Yeah, so a very good evening. And yeah, so the, due to some thing issue, like we just had a confusion in the date. So our presentation, uh, we have oh, the documents, Word documents, PDFs, everything ready for our idea for everything, but not in a presentation format. But uh, the topic what I'm going to talk today and tell you something this is very uh, special and very close to my heart, uh, like both of us like Benita and me. So basically, uh, this is about mental health and wellness. So long back this journey for us started when we were studying in our college in masters, we started with uh, in that in 2018, when we went ahead and we were making, uh, uh, we were studying where Benita is pursuing industrial psychology and I'm a clinical psychologist. When we're going ahead, we realize there's a lot of taboo misconceptions and a lot of usage for uh, this uh, mental health. And there was a lot of confusion among people what exactly is. Like people in India today don't even know the difference between mental health and mental illness. Although the word mental health is booming in the pandemic. So we went representing our company Psychologia Connect uh, in Microsoft uh, in 2018 in the end and 2019 was the pandemic. So we got incorporated in 2018 as a company and that's where we are. So just taking you through the journey of a company, I will uh, tell, let Benita share the screen and we see what are the initiatives, what we are uh, done and what is our future plan. So we just go ahead with that. Yeah, Benita, so can you share, uh, start your sh screen sharing? So basically, uh, no, the ones which are, are initiatives, the activities, what we have done. So when we knew that there was a lot of myth bursting, which was there uh, during the uh, times of COVID. So we had done around 400 to 500 pro bono workshops to get people aware about what exactly mental health is about. So this is all our workshops we started on Instagram. We did parenting workshops. We had conducted anxiety. Then we had workshops on emotional intelligence. How do you man manage your stress? Because that was the time when things around were really difficult for everybody. So we started with our workshops. We started creating a and we conducted three webinars, awareness webinars on various topics. Followed by this, we had a skill development workshop. And uh, this was where we actually uh, improve, we focused on improving skills and specific our target audience for this is women, uh, women who wanted to develop their skills in that time. So we realized that a lot of struggle they were facing, they were facing related to emotional, related to the IQ, EQ, and a lot of other things like, you know, the uh, scaredness that, okay, how would I go out, speak, and the way they shy out. So we had communication patterns, we had resilience, how do they build up resilience in them? Themselves. we had done these kind of uh, skill development programs during that time and uh, moving forward the best part like one of the USPs what we would have like all our experts are verified and we look at them that they are RCI certified like if you just go up and if you uh, see so we have uh, Ms. Gauri Rao Kavi Gauri, Ra Ms. Gauri Rao Kavi has also been into the mental health domain from about 40 years so we have experts who are listed with more than 30 years with us then uh, we had one of the India's biggest conference uh, and the first conference what we had done. And uh, that was our LGBTQ leaders conference, which was the second annual LGBTQ leaders conference this month. Uh, over here, we had various speakers, we had various uh, uh, panelists and all these people have more than like a experience, like almost more than a decade, like three decades. More 
plus three decades of experience. So we had uh, Ashok Rao Kabhi, who was who came out as a gay and who actually discussed his challenges and his problems uh, for the entire initiative. And in his, uh, this was all a four hour conference, the longest conference in India up till now, which we had held for the LGBTQ community. And we had around three to four people who had actually, uh, you know, come, they came on the platform and listen to they Uh, I think Shreya is facing some network yes, issues. And we were able to uh, go ahead and build up the uh, space what we wanted to do. Now, the next thing what we are planning to do is, which we, uh, Benita and I personally, which we are planning to do is create awareness through uh, the trending among the youth. So that there's a lot of confusion with a lot of terminologies in mental health, if I would say. The first thing that I would say is, like, nobody knows what a mood swing order is this is a very basic this thing then the other thing i would say nobody knows what hall you know everybody knows okay if you hallucinate or if you have delusions you are schiz you know you, you have sch uh, schizophrenia but nobody actually knows the difference between what is the difference between hallucination and what is the difference between schizophrenia so wherein we are trying to create through our latest post where we are trying to create these awareness and we're trying to do that whatever the information is available around us the information should be relevant and the information should add value then along with Atmanirbhay Bharat also we had our autism drive which we had done so therein where uh, we had various learnings from there also and we had got made, uh, people who were there so this was uh, with Pradeepji's help we had a few speakers who were there with us and a few speakers who were there where they had their own parents who had children of autism and they came and they could actually relate to the topic and talk. So we at Psychology Connect and at Chaitanya, so this is a Psychology Connect is a private limited company, whereas Chaitanya Drishti, it just got incorporated on 3rd August this year. That's a foundation and wherein we are creating a manual. A manual wherein you know a toolkit and a manual where people can go and they can actually talk so there are basic conversations which recently we were making up uh you when we are when a person approaches we don't know that what are the approaches what we should be given challenge in that also like, like we don't know what conversation if anybody's coming and talking to us we are like we directly jump to give advice that's what you so what are the ifs and don'ts? What is the approach if somebody comes with you for a problem? What you should be doing? And the manually we want to create awareness through our foundation for what are the impacts of mental health on women. Because there are, uh, throughout the discussion also, when I was uh, listening to the other platforms also, it says that there are, uh, the mental health issues in women and the mental health issues in uh, men are completely different. the mental health for parents have become more difficult because uh, either you're pregnant or either post-pregnancy what has impacted is the situation around has created depression and anxiety and we have verified documents for this from the who and the Nimhan center at bangalore so we went through their resources and referring to that we want to create a manual and present it in front of the general public create awareness that how would this entire thing work and what is a basic conversation like today if i do I, if i ask people like if i ask a layman i don't know about here but if i ask what is the difference between a psychiatrist and a psychotherapist and a psychologist nobody like unless and until you have been through the process maximum like according to us 70 percent of the people don't know the difference in india today the basic difference that what is the actual difference? So we are highlighting those being in the background and that's one of a USP. Now through Chaitanya Drishti, we have planning to have forums. So this is basically, uh, Benita, if you could open the forum session. So two forums we, where we want to create awareness, where you can get in touch with us, you can book appointments, it's more. 
so you can book appointment this is just we are building up on it so where you can we can have topics of discussion let's say any issue people can come over here they can introduce and they can have general topics of discussion on our forum so again a digital forum where everybody is equipped this how we uh, plan to actually want to educate everybody with the right terminology and we would that would have been uh, sheetal ma'am picked up very nicely she has good uh, this uh, device where languages are there so we in local languages if we are able to convey to people that this is actually the thing like basic terminologies and awareness so that will actually uh, create a huge impact and a huge difference like as per the recent uh, the elimination of flip hiv and all these things have completely decreased but the impact of mental health increasing in the future and as of now is become more 80% ahead and the pandemic has already got us into it but do we actually know what impacting a mental health and mental illness what is the thin thin line difference between the terminology so that's what we want to highlight create awareness through the manual and to our chat benita if you could open Where can you come again? Actually, your voice flow, is the flat. flow chart. The flow chart which you could uh, present. So, uh, yeah, you'll have to zoom in. Yes. Here. Yeah. So this, I think it's not visible. Yeah, yeah, perfectly. Now it's there. So this is basically our training and development module. You'll have to go on the training and development module. So the training and development module is where in. we want individuals to come and to book up their own sessions wherein we want them that you know if they have any issues they can raise a query through the forums where they pay and then they get their sessions and they get entirely the entire thing notified so we plan to make this this is how they can book our appointments how do we cater to special needs kids so right on our platform if a child is coming if a autistic or a down syndrome child is coming so basically people usually don't know the difference between that down syndrome is because of the genetic disorder genet and autism is a neurological disorder so they don't know whom to go to so they get a guide they get a manual through our foundation where they can go into they can find out okay these are the steps i need to go to a neurologist and then we give them a entire package with the help of the government we intend to give them an entire package for a kids with special needs right from diagnosing up till providing them with a kid a child with a a remedial or a special educator whosoever is required and that's all what uh, is about like a vision for chetanya rishi promote mental health promote and get things done and moving forward for a uh, psychology connect so that's what uh, we are trying to build up a saas and enable the marketplace only for mental health and wellness and that's our niche so over to you vinita if you have to add anything i'm just done here <laughs> Yes, Shreya, you have beautifully explained the whole picture. What we are trying to do through our ventures, and yes, we really look forward to actually spread awareness and have a wider reach because this is high time that we realize that we need to step up, spread awareness, get the help that the individuals need, and make an impact and uplift our society. Thank you. so just to add on like in a way or furthermore so we are looking to build up uh, and get into the field of awareness where we require uh, like senior health like people uh, like experienced people like you because we're just budding into it where you help us to actually come into the picture the session this entire series organized by pradeep sir was also a learning for us wherein we will be able to make a change with the spreading the right awareness and just not you know so the main reason for it is like people today for, at the name of mental health and at the name of mental illness are just trying to mint money like you pick up any other apps you pick up any other platforms when they talk about it they themselves don't know the basic terminologies and the differences so we want to psych we i wouldn't say i want to psycho educate everybody but just create a guideline of entire you know i would say a manual where they know what's right and what's wrong and whom do they have to actually reach out to over to you like i'm done
Sanjita, you need to evaluate first. Okay, sir. I would let Rama Rao sir do it. He's raising his yes, hand. Yes. Not evaluation, no. no. Um, I'm looking into a broader aspect in general. You you uh, you make a critical analysis, Sanjita. Uh, to me, in uh, the the product on the whole was very good, and uh, I'll tell you, mental health is uh, one more measurement. You know, happiness index for the country. So mental health is extremely important, and from various angles, it has to be dealt. And nowadays, I'll tell you, the youngsters, you know, the youngsters have a lot of freedom. The mental health is not correct. <laughs> so so well being is very very important. You know. Um, um, compared to our own elders, I think we have seen freedom better. And now the youngsters are seeing freedom to an extreme extent. So mental health, mental balances, uh, many other aspects, right from uh, the thought process to the health aspect, uh, this awareness has to be there. And probably every institution should have one branch and wherein um, some sessions on mental health from various aspects has to be dealt with. So, Ramana, uh, so what you said, uh, I didn't cover that. If if I'm permitted, yeah. can I just cover that? So, with this, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, sure. Benita, can you share EAP, which earlier? So, this was our offering, which we plan to uh, ed educate people through this and take it ahead. So, yeah, just coming to this. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, basically, just go, scroll down, yeah. So this is again what we this is again what we want to do it for Chaitanya Drishti. Please so just go down, scroll down. Um, so where our appointment booking would entire scroll down. So what are the things where we can go go on the content part, Benita? Yeah. So these are the sectors where we are basically looking. How do you work effectively? And especially the women population as well as the underprivileged population. How do they learn to balance their work like health and wellness, crisis intervention? A similar situation like COVID comes up. How would they actually handle it? Like the maximum, there's a shift like from this era, it's gone completely to the digitalization. So, so how would they actually avail it? Going forward, then we have, uh, Benita, just go ahead. We have something which we have for addiction. Like Ramarao, sir, I think you were talking about the latest addiction, what people are having. Like the yeah, work yeah. ethics. Yeah, the, just go up. The work ethics. I'll just cover the work ethics and then go to the addiction part. So basically, the work ethics, like time management, conflict management. And in this digital world, these are the challenges what we all are facing. So we want to, under the work effective bracket, where we look forward to train people with these skills. And especially the young entrepreneurs, the young people, and the young population also, I would say, if they get the right direction with this, then I'm sure then that that will, with its guidance, proper guidance, they'll also go ahead. Then coming forward to uh, the next slide, thing which is there is uh, the addiction part. So I'll just talk about the addiction part. There's a lot of addiction because of addiction, absentees, are, the productivity decreases, and a lot of other things which are affecting. So again, these are part of mental health. Now, addiction, when I talk about addiction, can be either substance education addiction or it can be either behavioral addiction. Like it can be 24 7 and just in front of my screen, Netflix, which is trending, like if I would say, or it could be a substance education, I then found out drugs, smoke, alcohol, anything. So, this is again where we want to create awareness and we have planned to have forums for this and outlets for this, wherein we actually conduct, like, you know. Uh, I would say this we had thought before the pandemic where we have virtual, where we have meetups. I would say now virtual meetups are impossible, but we have a secret, like a secret Santa. We have a secret uh, psychiatrist in the room where people who are addicted, like, you know, if who want to leave the habits or anything, they come, they meet up and they discuss their issues. Like, you don't have to listen. But at least we come to know the ratio and we come to know that how it is affecting them. So the psychiatrist is also going to be an addict, but he's going to portray himself that, okay, like you said, I am doing this stuff. So maybe consciously they get into the habit. So this was entire the thing what we were thinking pre-COVID. Now post-COVID, we are planning to take this online 
and through the manual and do other things. So that's what Rama Rao sir I had to say. Yeah, it is. It is correct. No, exactly. See, I will tell you, this is uh, this is far better than having motivation in general. See, motivation in general is boosting. But if you are very critical in handling your job, your studies, as a, see, the aspects are like this: as a student, as a family member, uh, as an employee. You got no point now. Your ingredients actually cater to different aspects of the same human being. So, as an employee, there are some set sets of perfect behavior so that the productivity improves, and you know how to go along with your uh, mm -hmm. uh, friends. And even try to understand the competition in the market. Maybe one day you may have to go out. So, how well prepared are you? So, I would say your uh, your whole approach would be critical view of real motivation. If not motivation, would be movement. You know, but the practice is something like three hours movie, very motivating. Then afterwards, when you come out of the movie, you have to run for the bus, you have to reach home, you have to cook, do cooking and all that. So that, that is the practical aspect of it. So yeah, this is a very nice approach actually. I mean, I really wish you refine the product and come down to sublets also, so that you know uh, this product can be pushed in for various levels of people in the schooling and as a student. Uh, see, to me as a student, I always feel. What is the type of uh, outlook, future outlook for an average student who never scores good marks, but he completes all the education in the right time? Uh, by the age of 21, he finishes or she finishes her graduation, but not with excellent marks. So at that time, uh, you are you, this this factor comes in. You know, this mental health. Um, uh, you say it's like clinic. You know, the whole clinic and the set of courses. If they go ahead, probably they will have a positive outlook. And uh, they don't curse themselves for being average. You know, the average itself is a very typical definition. So that way, this is very useful. Nice. You know, I have been very keenly following and seeing how well this can be adopted in for, for different levels. Absolutely. For different sure. levels. Absolutely. Yeah. Sure. At different and levels. And the level should be within that five-year tenure. Primary school student level is different from a high school. Then from there, uh, even 11th, 12th itself, I'll say it is a pre pre definition for a graduation. So from 11th to completion of graduation, another phase of learning. Then once you become a social human being, you are part of the society, uh, part of competition, invisible. So then your mindset keeps on changing. Uh, so this is very good actually, you know, uh, because every phase sometimes you know just do not know uh, if uh, you know if, if proper guidance so is given. Yeah. So we have this on our mind. If we get an opportunity to get into schools and colleges, uh, sports is one of the thing which is during the primary level, as you said, sports activities would actually help them to keep a balance of all the things. So we have sports psychologists also with us. We have sports physiotherapists. So the entire mm. mental and the well-being. So sports physiotherapists and sports psychologist and a sports nutritionist. So once if this entirely thing is portrayed in schools and colleges, like on posture training, how they can sit, how they can talk. So if this starts from the primary level, if the education starts, then I'm sure it's going to create wonders in the coming time. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure, sure. See, I'll give you one hint, you know, I do not know whether you are aware, in Karnataka state, they have uh, 60 sessions uh, for every college, uh, what do you call, uh, uh, encouraged by the government itself for which they pay and uh, these 60 sessions are non-academic they are those sessions wherein the student learns other things now not which is included as per the syllabus so probably you should vouch for that if your whole setup is done properly and if you are an establishment probably you can put your cards you know you can empanel yourself and offer at the um, initial it may be just as a showcase later uh, maybe you will be given a full full assignment to handle, uh, say, five, six colleges. This I have observed years back. My friend who is himself a professor in a college, he was telling about this. So probably you should uh, try to see whether you can do it in each state like this. Uh, you should approach the education department and uh, put them as a supplement education, you know. You should use their word, not your word, so that uh, they, will, they will integrate you into their curriculum then uh, your whole team will have an excellent approach and probably you can refine your methodologies also depending on the circumstances. Um, uh, I'll tell you something, see government school students, colleges have a different mindset. The whole school, uh, the whole set of students are different and private school, private institution, they are set is different. Uh, so that way you can classify things and bring it. My government schools, I'm sure you will be encouraged. I do not know whether you can go about with this. Uh, we'll see, we'll try to push in your cards. 
if this whole scheme you have a brochure and all that uh, we'll do an experiment you send it to me i will send it to my friend in karnataka and see whether uh, they will accept this uh, it is a think tank you know this is slightly different also but very interesting in fact thank you it is it is, uh, it is another like you know physical training mental training pt master jaisa aisa bhi ek master hona chahiye badhiya bahut acha hai because i i handle so many variety of students you know right from completed engineering to uh, professional courses i find the whole mindset very different <laughs> very very different and uh, uh, somehow something is lost midway they chhod dete ho padhai chhod dete hain suddenly baap re kahan chale jate hain nahi manum fir 5 6 saal ke baad dekhta hu bhatakte rehta hai na kabiliyat bahut rehta hai lekin tarika nahi manum kaise jana karke sachi mujhe dar lagta hai freedom is lost but we do not know what to do with the freedom Completely. That was very nice presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ramadhav sir. That was wonderful that you spoke about. And yeah, uh, Shreya and Vinita, many many congratulations. You girls are addressing the need of the art, and uh, this is the most thing that one needs to talk about. Unfortunately, people still. uh hesitate talking about mental health but yes uh, that's the need of the hour especially people like our parents uh, don't talk about it they might be living with that problem but they hesitate to talk about it and you girls coming into that picture addressing uh, and talking about those things is really really very appreciated uh, so uh, coming down to your presentation um, so i thought it was really good uh in terms of what you have structured it in the form of what your approach is how you guys have been taking it from start till now what you are doing and what your future plans are i thought everything was perfectly well and you guys have a vision to uh, take it forward to and that's very much appreciated okay uh, so i think you on a note that you started what what made you think of that you need to create such a platform where awareness needs to be created um, well then uh, i think uh, maybe if you could have elaborated on it i understand that you came out from a college and then you thought that uh, it's the most uh, thing that one needs to talk about but yeah uh, what you are facing in the surroundings what you are seeing in your surroundings why this problem needs why this problem exists and how you can address it more uh it can be elaborated a little bit uh the workshops on instagram that you are showing the social media presence that you guys have in fact i visited your page as well and i'm seeing there is a good number of followers also um in your instagram page and linkedin also so that's very well done uh, and i uh, i and i wish that you have more such uh, followers and people following you because uh, everyone needs it okay your connect the efforts that you are making to connect with the experts out there in the industry and inviting them to your platform is another level of uh, uh, appreciation that i would like to convey the conference that you guys are conducting amazing work uh, i understand the objective that you are covering is mental health uh, you are creating an awareness of mental health but the information that you are putting in uh, uh, that should be lucid enough for one to understand i went through some of your social media posts uh, there are very technical terms used um, so that could be broken down when you are creating awareness campaigns especially uh, that information can be made very lucid enough for common person to understand who does not that's have what, any biomedical that's what where we are planning to make reels like personally going talking in hindi talking in english and marathi in that case if possible the other languages we don't know but uh, yeah so where we can go we can talk it out and you know if the, it's possible for us to convey in regional languages the right word so when we type something it goes in that but when we actually talk it would create an impact definitely so uh did have you conducted any offline workshops yes we had conducted off so what we do is when the experts are also there with us so when uh, the experts who are listed they have listed in a category wise like platinum gold and silver so uh depending on the years of experience so now the platinum is going to actually train the gold and silver so we had done these offline workshops 
where we were teaching them techniques of counseling like rbt so that's one of the counseling techniques cbt now we have cbt emotional intelligence so we had conducted workshops on this but then as i told you right we got incorporated in october and then march was again the pandemic so that's like we had to do everything offline and we've done bombay chamber of commerce as a client where in bombay chamber of commerce we are conducting workshops for them also but we're doing it virtually uh, for them <laughs> and i somewhere i uh, saw in your slide that you have a employee assistance program also is that yeah so that's the employee assistance program that's a offering for the corporates which we would like to take it through csr also and put it ahead mm -hmm. for the development of the corporates and especially in categorizing it as per rama rao sir correctly picked up demographically looking at their culture age gender keeping into consideration and putting it forward rada i would pitch in that uh, rather than uh, having that into your csr you should be uh, uh, making it as a business model your employee assistant program because uh, i i absolutely find that corporates are asking for more and more such programs for their employees in fact i have one in my uh, organization and i see most of the uh, whether it's multinational companies or indian companies they are all asking for wellness of their employees so uh, don't pitch it for csr just go for a business model that's what my suggestion would be uh, and you will do wonders so in that employee assistance program maybe you could have categorized your products can be categorized based different age groups different professions uh products like uh, for kids you can have for schools if you are pitching and you can have a uh, uh, assistance program for the kids and then for the uh, if you are going for uh, college students then you can have different set of uh, product for them a workshop maybe and uh, that's how you can penetrate the market basically i'm sure there will be uh, your competitors also in the industry who are doing it there are experts uh, basically sitting out there in the market uh, who are, have created their own niche Uh, in different uh, being wellness coach and uh, other sorts of so how you can pull them into your own company and ask them to you know like integrate with you your organization and you guys can make a synergy and take this forward because at the end of the day everyone so, uh, is working towards the same objective so basically we are in talking terms with the pearson pearson has very psychometric test they have very is uh, a mental health assessment and all we are planning to put that and planning to incorporate those once we incorporate those a test within us so the experts which when they have to now today a basic psychometric test is for costed around just 1 lakh or something when you have to buy the software the purchase cost but then that is when if that's with us we can do the psychometric analysis we can give that to experts so the expert would actually come to us and won't go there so that's how we are taking care and we are creating a funnel we are trying to build up a saas platform like i would say a next uh, min you, if you see mintra is a marketplace where all brands are listed and everybody is listed right so next mintra for mental health and wellness i would say that's, that's yeah. yeah that's what uh, we have so it would be somewhat like tracto uh, and an intermediate between tracto and mintra i would say and well as the main aim like the awareness part which is lacking we awareness is what we want to do through our foundation that's the main aim where we cater where we go in you know villages and we talk to people about this this is mental health i'll tell you i would it's it's very easy for me to go and talk that okay it's mental health is fine so you have to take but the ultimate motive behind this I'll tell you, today if you don't follow proper hygiene if you don't know what's right and wrong that also affects mental health small small things they trigger your mental health so to the foundation the main aim is to create a assessment manual to create a guideline there are a lot of posts on on social media these days which are trending self care self care but is really self care okay uh, going for a spa or just reading my favorite book or having a cup of coffee that's not self care at the end of the day when you talk about self care self care really differs self care is about how do you feel about yourself what are your emotions how do you take in charge of your emotion how sorry is my voice cutting now okay so how do you take in charge of your emotions how do you actually you know there's a lot more to it So 
put the right way get the things done but today even a lot of hr professions in that case when i would say they aren't aware what they have to give to their employees empathetic listening which everybody is lacking like that's one of the thing which we all should get into yeah sir yes. where are you where are you located have you started work on this product i mean extending your services have you done it are you in bombay or which place so your voice is actually breaking vinita can you take yeah, that yeah. yeah yeah sanjita where, where is shreya and her uh, whole team extending the services we are based in mumbai and we are providing our services pan india we have conducted offline workshops and online workshops which are being conducted continuously okay 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 right right uh, you see you uh, um, uh, take my number from mr pradeep sir and uh, we will see whether we can do it in other states i don't mind uh, pushing both the presenters today you know that language project also was too good and your project is also too good uh, in fact i am also trying to make inroads with the department of goa here maybe i can project your uh, two projects your presentation and the previous project also we'll see what best can be done from our we, end we would love that sir and we will surely yeah, yeah, connect with you very thank you very so seriously much. Because, definitely you just create a brochure Uh, and i'll see how i can customize it and see that it will go i'll tell you to whom i am contacting directly the employment department directly i am already i have already presented him uh, five pages of uh, uh, you know different methodology that can be implemented in goa state they have called me many times and uh, maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow i have to go and meet them and i'll keep this in view and uh, make in road um uh, we'll do it labor and employment department i'm directly in touch with them here yeah. thank you and so same, much sir and, uh, and the same thing and the same thing i'll translate to you all let this group be maintained so that we can share each other's experience and uh, it will minimize our you know hard work and all to market the product and uh, expand our services correct na uh, so i i request pradeep sir not to dismantle this group let it be as it is uh, so that you know lot things can be shared correct na what do you say absolutely <laughs> absolutely uh, yeah, yeah. agree and you helping us take a step forward for the mental health is truly a game changing effort yeah, yeah. from your side See, and it uh, means no, a lot uh, uh, what we'll do na we'll give a different nomenclature uh, we'll customize the services the content will be same only the frame will be different uh, because yes. uh, to make some inroads you know we need some cosmetic touches we'll do it upar mein jo naam wagara badalna hai so that it becomes more attractive for different different level people okay Uh, this is a good thing and uh, thank you so yeah. much sir i just have one i just have got one more thing to add to miss vinita's uh, and shreya's work uh, yeah, i am yeah. also presently like you know i am into also art education and art therapy is a very strong area i felt which can also go with services that they are offering like you know their presentation was quite passionate and like you also said mental health is also something and uh, miss Sanjita also said that same thing. So, in case if something synergies can be worked around art, also please do let me know. I was supposed to make another presentation, but I am not <laughs> having another no, presentation uh, on, on my platter right uh, now. Uh, see, uh, so see, much. You mean art? Art means fine art. You mean fine art? Painting. Yes, sir. Fine art. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sculpture. Uh, yeah, sculpture. Nice, sir. Uh, more on the painting side, sir. and i am undergoing this one course for art therapy and i have done my psychology ma also very recently from uh, from uh, from ignu itself so i felt yeah, like i could relate to what ms shreya was saying so yeah, that is something yeah. if there's something can help out online or offline i will do it will do it this is really this is really, this is really so i can uh, yeah. <laughs> sure Uh, thank you, you so you, much you, again you 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 should uh, both of you know both the groups you know you put up your uh, brochure so that uh, immediately when, uh, as you were telling you know i remember my senior friend daughter she is a self made artist in goa and she is very renowned personality here she is very young as young as all of you uh, she has done thousands of artwork and uh, i think uh, we can have a small branch office of your definitely work out great great both presentations were very good and very interesting in fact 
Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. I would Thank like you. to interrupt here actually. Uh, uh, our third presentation will not be there for today uh, because Sanchita Ji has to uh, move on for the next uh, uh, presentation also for session. But uh, something I need to actually add on to what Sanchita said. Sanchita, is, is your evaluation is over? So like, wait for five more minutes. No, no, no. Just, just one last comment to both the girls out there. Uh, uh, wonderful presentation. Uh, while you end your presentation, make sure you summarize everything, pack it in a box and just give it to your investors or maybe your whoever you're presenting to. And one line of statement stating what your product is, what you are offering and how you, what help you seek from the other person. That could sum it up. And you guys are doing great and all the best to both of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Just welcome. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you, Ms. Sanjita. Thanks. I need to add here for uh, Sri and Vinita. Sri, once you are presenting for uh, CSR, of course. And uh, I do agree with Sanchita that some of the packages in and around for uh, your uh, stuff can go for uh, this thing. Uh, that is a employee assistance program or campus placement assistance for the students. That can be worked around as a business model because if that is a business model, then you can get more revenue on that. But if you are into uh, CSR, the employee assistance programs, somehow it is not working up or building up. And of course, the campus placement for the students where psychologists are helping out uh, around the students. That is not coming under. But two segments where social development sectors or social enterprises are working or for CSR is working. If you take the consideration or you take the case study of Pyramid Foundation, they are working for uh, with the same with the same thought and vision which you people are sharing, and of course for the LGBT. So once you 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 need to design your package accordingly. Suppose you are working for uh, senior citizens, you are working for LGBT. You need to go through the CSR or social development pro programs. Otherwise. Develop your program uh, as per the uh, this thing business models. That will be better one to pitch on, and that will be better to actually uh, take and revenue or generate the revenue. But yes, whenever you are either you are pitching for uh, uh, business models or you are pitching for CSR, you have to start with that vision, mission, objective. Then go for the target audience. Go for the solutions. Jot down or inform about your solutions. What are the solutions? Just bracket it on in a one solution. Okay, that we have these many solutions. These are the teams which are working on. If I take on uh, the, your presentation, your the last presentation of the last page, where you are actually telling it that backend people are working like this, frontend people are working working like this. In that particular segment, there are there are the people, those who are the target people for you. So just take out from that particular presentation, that particular slide, who all are the target audience for you. If you are not, you are not clear about, or you are, you are not actually presenting which all are your target people, then how come others will come to know that you are going to target these many people? Target people is a different one and beneficiaries. Suppose if we, I talk about uh, school children, schools and uh, 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 in and around school, your target will be the students and your target will be the teachers. Or if you take the uh, NEP, your target will be the angel bodies. These three will be the target of people. But, wait a while. But in other areas, in other areas, these people will not be the target people. And you have to very well define who all are the target people and who are all the beneficiaries for that particular project. You have aligned, you have uh, presented so many projects around you, but you have never mentioned that this particular solution or this particular project is for this many segment or this particular target group. This needs to be presented so that everyone and yeah, everyone those who are present in the presentation can understand. Okay, for me, this particular solution is there. For my uh, team, this was, this uh, solution is there. Okay, so whenever you are doing this, and do mention the costing also. Like the previous one, when Sita Ji was presenting, she was presenting about the costing. 
she was not presenting about the cost of that particular uh, product. So whatever the solution you have, whatever the product you have, do mention about the cost of that. And suppose you are presenting that, okay, uh, I need to cater this many people. Do present how many people you are actually targeting and how, what all the activities you will be doing for those people. Suppose, see, you have uh, aligned those product lines. You have aligned those uh, service lines. That you all are going to do this. But on which date or how many days, with which activity you will be doing? This needs to be presented. Once you are presenting either for both the things, if you are presenting for CSR or if you are presenting for business model also, you have to present that three assessment will be there during the uh, uh, activity time. There will be a baseline assessment will be there and the post assessment will be there. And based on three assessments, we will come out with the impact assessment. This needs to be actually catered for and this needs to be presented. And activity two, what all the activities you will be doing. It's not that only you are presenting that your solutions or products are there. So do uh, give a brief about the activities too within the time frame of three months, six months, 12 months, three years or five years, whatever it is. Okay, nothing more to say. Thank you for your presentation. I'm very much happy that both of the presentations are being admired by all the speakers and all the evaluators. Thank you, Ayer. Uh, Santita, over to you. You have raised your hand. Over to you. No, no, no. I'm just clapping. Applause for okay. both the presentations today. Thanks. Thanks for both the presentations and thanks for all the visitors here, those who are present here. Uh, if anyone is having any other queries or any of the solutions, do come in, unmute yourself, or else by the time I will be ending uh, the today's meet because Sanjita has to go for some other meet also. Thanks. Thanks for thanks for being with me and thanks for yeah, Sanjita's analysis was stuker, very perfect surgery, a nice, nice, you know, that, that gave us a lot of insight into analyzing things. A good feedback, actually. Sanjita's analytical feedback was very good, very good. Thank, Thank you, you, Sanjita. Sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks, Sajita, for uh, supporting me and thanks for supporting anytime. this initiative. Anytime. Thank you to all. Anytime. Thank you. And if somebody uh, needs any help on anything, please do let me know. I'm available on Instagram or any of the social media platforms. Thank you. Okay. Thank thanks. You. Thanks Thank to you. all. I'm ending up the session for the day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Pradeep. And thank you so much, Rama Rao, sir, and all present. For all the feedback, all encouraging feedback, actually. No, no, we'll, we'll you. definitely get into the work now immediately. Yes, yeah. sir. Thank you. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.